Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at rotational kinematics. After taking a look at the linear kinematics and formulas that um, came about, we should also take a look at the circular motion and the resulting formulas and concepts that come about. And we're going to look at it with constant speed and constant acceleration. So what you have to realize here, we're going to be looking at a velocity, which is going to be tangential. This is the linear velocity. And it will always be perpendicular. This is in rotational motion to the acceleration. This is called the radial acceleration, or sometimes referred to as the centripetal acceleration. Okay. And it always points to the center of the circle. So unlike projectile motion, the acceleration, which is gravity, always goes down. It's always in the same direction. This radial acceleration always changes. Okay, It's always pointing to the center where that fixed axis is that we are rotating around. And the velocity and that radial or centripetal acceleration are perpendicular to each other. If we were looking at a projectile motion, it would only be perpendicular at the very peak. So, sometimes we look at problems that refer to uniform circular motion. What is uniform circular motion? That's if the particle is moving around at a constant speed. So if we have a constant speed, then it's called uniform circular motion. And we can come up with this formula for radial acceleration, where it's the velocity squared over the radius. Okay. Now, if you know the period, for instance, and you can substitute in the formula period would equal 2 pi r over velocity, and if you solve for velocity, just switching the two, you can plug in what velocity equals into here. You can get this equivalent formula for the radial acceleration. Just in case you forgot, the period is the time it takes for one full revolution, and velocity and radius are the other variables in this equation. All right. So that's basically it for the fundamentals of rotational motion. Um, we will incorporate the angular velocity, the Greek letter omega, kind of looks like that W, um, with a fancy curve to it, and relate that to this linear velocity. Okay, Angular omega, linear velocity. That'd be on the next video, part two. So please check it out and check out the example videos dealing with rotational kinematics as well. Once you just do a few of these problems, you'll see they're not too bad. Thank you and have a nice day.